Hey guys, it's Raisin Raccoon here with Gonzo and your boy. And we're here to play some DC deck building game. In the front, we have the heroes, which we all play as. We start off with one of these, and pretty much you have to build your deck off of whatever hero you're given. So let's say you have Batman. He says plus one power for each equipment during your turn. You would try to concentrate on equipments and that's pretty much the gimmick of this. It's kind of like your standard deck building game. We are playing with six villains. Everyone gets a deck in the beginning, three vulnerabilities and seven punches. We shuffle it up and that consists of our starting deck. Actually before I deal them out, uh, your game, if you, if you ever buy this uh, deck building game on its own, you won't, you'll only get seven heroes. You won't get Martian Manter. He's a promo. Uh, Cryptozoic likes to dish out these promos and they're pretty hard to come by. I think this guy was just not reprinted for a while and the only way to get him is through like an online store, board game store. They usually go out at, uh, they give them out at Gen Con or any board game specific con. I think Cryptozoic was trying to do their own con. Okay, so we're gonna do random, and everyone's gonna get two. So this, is trash. this one's trash. trash. Oh shit! Okay, my that one's not <laughs> trash for oh. me. Okay, so just flip them out, put them on the middle, and here we go. A child. All right, so that's the the Trinity. <laughs> that's so crazy. I went with Batman just because um. I was, he was my explanation card. Well, who was your other choice? My other choice was Cyborg. <laughs> I, I chose I chose to not win. Wonder Woman's pretty good. Yeah, I always go. Wonder Woman is all about villains. Mm -hmm. Every time they collect a villain, you would get... An extra um, card at the end of your turn. Yeah. Superman deals with superpowers and Batman, like I was saying earlier, equipments. Our first villain is Ra's al Ghul. Uh, every time you defeat a villain, it, he goes in your deck. They have the costs on the bottom right. To win this game, you need to have the most star points or VP. With your starting cards, you have punches, vulnerabilities. Vulnerabilities do nothing. Punches are your only source of money, you could say. Since no one got the flash, the flash was able to go first. We can just roll this dice. I got a five. <laughs> Let me tell you about other things. You got the kicks and the weaknesses. They will also come into play later. Five. We got a five. Okay, so we got to duel it up. Four. Four. Okay, <laughs> so it'll just go clockwise. This is the lineup. The lineup always gets filled up when you buy a card. Or not, not instantly. You have to wait until your turn is over. The turn order will be drawing five cards, always having five cards in your hand. And from here you can play it out one by one. So I have three punches, two vulnerabilities. With the power, like I was saying, that's your money. And vulnerabilities do nothing. So now I can buy something from the lineup or I can buy a kick. Kicks are always here. I believe there's 16 of them. I actually don't really like going for kicks, but going for power in the beginning is always good. So that is my turn. If I bought something, it would replenish. And now it's your turn, Gonzo. It's all coming back to me. Oh yeah. I think I'm making this game a little bit more yeah. than it is. It's just so intimidating. It's just counting numbers. Yeah, really? Okay. So yeah, it's coming back to me. It's, it's all, um... Let me just move this. Is there any card that you're interested in? Could go... three power. Three power? Alright. Yeah, so I mean, I can get a... You're in the same position as I was. I can get this guy. I'll get him. Okay. <laughs> It'll pay off in the end. So, once his turn is over, we fill up the lineup again. It goes that goes into your discard pile. I got <laughs> vulnerability. One, two, three, four punches. Ooh. All right. I'll take Bane. <laughs> so 
So that allows you to get six cards next draw. Pretty powerful. No. Yeah, because you you just collected Bane, yeah, and Wonder right, Woman's right. Effect, uh, effect goes off. So now instead of the normal five, you'll get six. Draw an extra card at the end of your turn. Okay. Which is pretty good. I think the counterpart is Lex Luthor? Later on, later on, there there's a whole ton of these uh, type building games. A lot of variations you can play as the villains. So now I got, I have four, which is way better than what I had before. Oh, let me not do that. Discard pile, play. So Nf Metal is one of the cards that let you destroy. That helps you refine your deck. Even though it's not four power, I'm gonna go with it. So once you can't draw anymore, you have to shuffle your deck. I got you. All right. Um, Tom's has been drinking that V8 no, too no, much. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have four punches, one involve. Uh, what is that there? <laughs> All right. This one, a, uh, Swamp Thing. Control swamp location. Thing's really good when it comes to, for uh, locations. So if you have one of these, he will get you five power, I believe. He nice. will beat you. Take it. All right, Swamp Thing's pretty cool. Ooh, okay. So I got one, two vulnerability, four punches. Okay. So with that in mind, yeah. <laughs> Green arrow. Every card has a type. So along with the cost and the star points, you have types. And they're usually color-coded. So Blue Beetle here is a hero. And we have equipment on utility belt. Like I was saying earlier, the pink cards are locations. And we grabbed Bane already. But the super villains and villains are also uh, villains. They will be under the red category and the weaknesses are actually nothing. It's pretty debatable on what they are. I think later iterations actually call them weaknesses, but let me just grab one just for reference. They subtract from your score at the end of the game and your cost is zero, but you can't just grab them. There are different cards that will attack you and we'll get to that later on. <laughs> I mean, unless... Unless Kanto really wants all the weaknesses. I want all the... <laughs> all the weakness. That's my strategy. So I got three. Nothing good. I'm just gonna go with another kick. Cool. Clogging my deck with kicks. Interesting. Play. Just like old times. I mean... Sometimes it works. Uh, so I got three power and I have Kid Flash so I could draw a card. And that's another power, so I'm four. Uh, wow, well, yeah. Anything for just, four? Just, just another kick. kick? Want me to grab your kick? Yeah. All right, here we go. Thanks. Radio. Um, one vulnerability, one punch, two, three, and Bane, which is plus two power, so that's five. And there's an attack with Bane that says each foe chooses and discards a card. So there's the attacks. Um, sometimes they're a little bit tougher, but Bane is, Bane's all right, I can do a thing. No backbreaking today. I'll discard my vulnerability. And there you go, vulnerability. <laughs> Vulnerability's gone. All right, so I have five. Um, this is interesting, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, King of Atlantis is good, good for destruction, especially early game. Get I would go with uh, I'd get a kick. the king. What do you um, think about? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. They try to tie in everyone's um, superpower to what they do. Batman, of course, with the equipment. Superman with the superpowers. Um, Flash is all about drawing cards. So he just keeps going. He's got to go fast. So I got... Five, I'm gonna get my bat cave. Threw me off. I was gonna get that <laughs> until you were Oh, really? Dang. 
Well, I think they both work out either way. Oh, if not, I would have went with Dark Knight. So many heroes. This does nothing for me. <laughs> this is just five power. Five power? Three punches with a swamp thing. Okay. So I can maybe get... What does this do again? Dark Knight grabs all the equipment from the lineup and just throws in your discard pile. That's really good. Okay. <laughs> I think all the overpowered cards came from the first the first uh, generation of DC deck building. So two vulnerabilities and three punches, that means I get my first kick of the game. Nice. All right. Gonna place the bat cave. When you play a location, it stays in front of you for the entire game unless there is an attack that would let you discard it. So we'll play it like this. End of metal, look at the top of your deck, destroy it. Mm, it's a punch. Some people will keep it, but I'm gonna destroy it. So we got four. I'm gonna go with, hmm. Let's go with Swamp Thing. My location's already up. Ooh, that's a pretty good one for you. Gonzo, bulletproof. Where is it? Oh, I see it. It's, it's a defense. Right so when it comes yeah. to attacks, you can use a defense um, to pretty much just X out the attack and Usually they have some good benefits. Bulletproof allows you to destroy a card in your discard pile. So, so that is four. four. That's, so that's exactly, exactly right. right. Oh. Oh. Easy. Oh. I mean, a queen. Okay. A queen appears. Mm -hmm. I got one punch. I got two punch. Three green arrow, which is plus two. Plus super villains cost you two less to defeat this turn. So that's five, and then I can destroy a card in my discard pile. If I do, plus three. Nice. So I will destroy this vulnerability. Here, I'll take that. So now three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then this technically costs me six, but... Wow. <laughs> and that also counts for your Wonder Woman. <gasps> so you still yes. draw the six. But also, I have two left because he costs six. Which oh, okay. means I'm getting her. <laughs> and now you draw seven. All right, it's nice knowing you. Seven. Seven. That's nasty. <laughs> Captain Cold. So what Captain Cold does is if you guys don't have a defense, you are going to have to flip over your superhero card and you can't use their ability. I don't think anyone has a defense right now. Until somebody defeats him? Until someone defeats them, that's when everyone can put their stuff back up. Okay. Speed plays, another five. Uh, I'm gonna go with the utility belt. Well, okay. Did I have anything? Okay, not yet. Nothing too crazy here. That was a good card that you just picked up. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I just have four punches, one dark knight, so that's six power. And six I get power? this guy for free. Oh, you're right, because of the, dark knight. the ability. And then... Uh, six, you say? Yeah. And that blue beetle's actually pretty good. Yeah, I was looking at him just because he's like exact. So with blue beetle, you can... Oh, shoot. You can yeah, use him as an infinite defense. Whoa. <laughs> and what I mean by that is, if you have it in your turn and everyone goes attack happy, then you all you have to do is show it to him. He goes back into your hand, so you're pretty much untouchable. <laughs> one vulnerability, one kick, so that's two. Punch, three, four, five. And then six with Harley and... Each foe puts a punch or vulnerability from his discard pile on the top of his deck. Okay. Well. So, you guys don't have discard piles. <laughs> yeah, we're so good. So, you're good. <laughs> Do you have a discard pile, actually? No, I don't. No, you just, just shuffle? shuffle okay. Right okay. And Sometimes then, you get lucky. <laughs> plus two power, and each foe chooses and discards a card from their hand. Okay. 
I could have played them backwards. What do you mean? But it's too late now. Oh, I see. Yeah. If it was Bane, I would have thrown this one down. So he's throwing and then that, that would have been, yep. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So close. <laughs> oh gosh. Um. It's gonna be a clean sweep. <laughs> so I'll get Gorilla Grodd and. Oh, super speed's a good defense. Yep. All right. What the heck? We got four. And a vulnerability. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes, like, you just kind of just roll with it. Like, you see equipment, or you're you're all about equipment. You see gray, you're just like, okay, grab. <laughs> just grab everything. That's, <laughs> that's three power right there. Four and metal. I can look at the top of my deck, and I can choose to destroy it or not. And I guess I will. Uh, power. I got you. And then, um, Just destroy. Kid Flash, could draw a card. And I could use this, right? You it's can. still in my hand. Alright. So then. Plus two. So that's. So you got a kick, punch, that's three, and that's metal three, is four, four five, six. five, six. Okay. Okay. Well, there's a lot of cheap stuff here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, um... But they're good in numbers. Yeah, that's right. It's true. So I'll just get Catwoman, Flash, and... That's could it. get a kick. You wanna? Or I could get a, uh... Nah, just, just pass me Zatanna. If you want Zatanna, you're gonna oh, have to give six. up... Uh, one of them. I could give up, uh... A Kid, kid Flash. Flash. <laughs> okay. Put him back here. <laughs> So Zatanna, here you go. Cool. So we got one punch, two punch, three punch, four and five with green arrows, though. And super villains cost me two less to defeat. So. Wow. Busted. That's so busted. <laughs> um, it's only five. I'm gonna check this out. Oh yeah, that's not that's not helpful for me. <laughs> so that's three. And then I guess I can get. Yeah. There's All right. my five. I'm down. Starro. We're getting clogged up with these sevens. Sometimes that happens. There's a bit of luck when it comes to grabbing stuff from the lineup. And you could get clogged up with a bunch of sevens and low power. So the way this is going to work. Nth metal is going to work out first. I'm going to see it. Um, and if I choose to destroy it, I will have to draw the punch. But I think I'm going to get rid of the punch. And now the bat cave actually activates. So that's pretty sick. Three, four, five, six, seven. I could mess you up. I'm gonna grab the Starro, funny enough. Starro could be considered like a face hugger. Alright, got two left. Your turn, Gonzo. Buy the alien card game. Maybe one day. <laughs> one day. 99 US dollars. Um, I got a punch, I got bulletproof. So that's three. <laughs> Four, five, gain all equipment. There's no, none. No equipment. Six, seven, eight, blue beetle. All right. And Just one short though. Yes, you're right. But I think I'll just grab a uh, a location. <laughs> all right. Perfect. And a kick. And a kick. Uh, gotcha. Right. Yeah. And it adds up. <laughs> So if you notice, um, your game will not come with sleeves. <laughs> I suggest getting a pack of sturdy sleeves. I use Dragon Shields. Uh, Black Classic, I believe is what they're called. There's a matte one, but that came out later, so I can't can't actually go back. <laughs> All the sleeves are... <laughs> 
And they've lasted for so long. Eight years. <laughs> Your turn, you boy. Y'all ready for this play? <laughs> Go for it. One punch. Um, King of Atlantis, which really? says I can destroy a card in my discard pile, but there's no discard pile. Otherwise, one power. So that's two. Gorilla Grodd, three, so that's five. Rajal Ghoul, plus three, is eight. And then Riddler, uh, I may pay three power, but if I choose not to, one power instead, so that's nine. <laughs> Ridley, no. So we're just doing this. <laughs> Go for it. And then Rajal Ghoul ends up on the bottom of my deck before drawing a new hand. All right. Everyone forgets about Rajal Ghoul. Rash, I don't know how you guys pronounce him. Rajal Ghoul. Rajal Ghoul, okay. Four, five. Wait, does that get turned over immediately so that um, I can draw a new card, an extra card, or no? Let's see. Let me see, uh, Captain Cold. Sometimes there are crazy things that happen right now. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but this one just says, each player flips his superhero face down until his villain is defeated. So how I read that is, once, like, immediately he's defeated, we just flip him back up. Cool. I just kind of take it as, like, the literal face value of cards. That's five, and then six, because of Wonder Woman. Yep. I think she might be the only one who benefits from that. So now we got the new one. It's Parallax. Parallax is pretty nasty. So he says... Shoot, 12. <laughs> this, yep, 12. Discard everything that costs two or less. Everything in your hand. In your hand? Yep. Uh, the big number or like... Big the big yeah. number on the right is your cost. Oh, right. the cost. So discard okay. everything. Everything so two or less. Discard everything is so, what I have to do. Yep. No, I guess I shuffle. Wait, literally everything? Yeah, I, mean, literally, wow. I just had punches and one vulnerability. Well, keep your keep your no hand. Sometimes it it'll play out. Unfortunately, you're you're gonna get skipped. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. That's yeah. A issue. So if there was like anything like bane or something, um, your boy would bane you. But then you have nothing That's to discard. So, so yeah, then I have to wait until turn over. All right. So I have, let's do it like this, Enf Metal, look at the top, I will not destroy that. Bat Cave will activate, I have four, it gets boosted with Batman, and that is five at the location. So I got nine, I'm gonna go with these guys, John Jones. Funny enough, they tease you with John Jones, um, but he doesn't actually come included with the game. Just another thing to ramp up the promos. So Gonzo's turn, oh, turn. goes over. <laughs> Pretty much your turn is just drawing your five cards back. Mm -hmm. And now it goes back to your boy. So I got my kick. It's like a reverse card from Uno. Green arrows bow, yeah. So plus two power, plus two, four. Super villains cost me two less. That doesn't help me. Okay. So four. Let's check this out. Yeah, that guy's really good. Like I said, all these cards are busted in this in this first uh, iteration. It's we're going with Clayface because <laughs> Clayface can like copy literally any card. I think they they nerfed him in a couple of other variations. <laughs> they say you can't use you can't use Clayface on anything four or higher. <laughs> so what people would do would they would like always copy the super villains, just have <laughs> two villains in hand. <laughs> And they draw six because one or one. Nice. Okay, here we go. Utility belt, draw for Bad Cave. That is three, four, five, six again with Batman. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, and Green Arrow does some weak weaknessing. So I'm gonna go with Parallax. Mm. Nice Damn. job. <laughs> So now we got the new super villain. Oh, oh let, me, draw his hand. let me get my hand first. Oh, me, yeah. Yeah, I got my hand ready. All right, cool. <laughs> Don't come. Yeah, dude, it's good. All right, let's go. So we got the Joker. I'm ready to destroy. Wow, this guy's. This guy looks pretty. Bottom. Pretty crazy. Okay, so the Joker says. Um, each player puts a card from his hand into the discard pile. 
of the player on his left. Cool. Um, if the card you received has one or greater, put a weakness on the top of your deck. Well, we each got to give uh, the player to the left a card. And if that card is like a good card, anything that has a cost, then they also get a weakness on the top of your deck. Random? Uh, you can choose. Oh, you okay. can choose. So I'll just pass that over. It's yours. I'll take mine. It goes in our discard pile anyways, right? Let me see. Yep. Dang. Discard pile. <laughs> okay, so it is Gonzo's turn. Um, kid flash to draw a card, and it's just a punch, so it's one, would be all three, so that's four, uh, five, I guess, I'll look, with nth metal, all right, destroy yeah, it, destroy yeah. it, <laughs> that out of there, and that's two, with swamp thing, so that's six, seven, yeah. So we got Just seven. The Wonder Woman over there. All right. Princess of Themyscira. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I meant. All right. Um, one punch, two punch. Bane, this is plus two. Each Ooh. foe chooses and discards a card from their hand. Again. Mm -hmm. okay, well, uh, got that bowl. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I have four. I draw a card with super speed, and Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn plus one. Oh, Each there foe we go. puts a punch of vulnerability from his discard pile to the top of his deck. The redemption. Okay, so now I have to put that vol back on top. Um, and the <clears throat> flash. So draw another card. So I got two, four, six. Got the whole rogues gallery. <laughs> <laughs> what does Harley Quinn say to Batman? It's like, you know, you know, uh, Batman, what does he do? Eats bats? No, he fucks yeah, bats. He, he shits him. bats. I think he eats them. <laughs> he eats them. That's, that's one. Oops. If you watch Harley Quinn animated series on DC Universe, <laughs> there's mm. just a joke. If you watch the news, I think he eats them. He does one not. One day. <laughs> I can literally make you binge watch it. He's scared of bats. He's not scared of bats. Well, yeah, he yeah. is. <laughs> is it? I don't know. I'm... Harley Quinn in the animated series says that he fucks bats. <laughs> so must be canon. <laughs> no, it's just a joke. That's <laughs> so canon. I feel attacked. It's my head canon. Speaking of attacks, y'all are getting star owned. What's that? So it pretty much says discard the top card of your deck. Oh, and cool. I get to use them. Unless you guys have a defense. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> no defense? Okay, so just discard, discard the top card, and then I get to use it. <laughs> okay, cool. A Riddler, oh. I'll give it right back to you. Are there any cards that make use of, like, invulnerability and punch? Or um, vulnerability? I don't know, actually. I think like, if you have ten punches, then do this. Later expansions are some crazy cards. I think Green Arrow actually, for the first Crisis expansion, plays with punches. So we got three and a Riddler. You know what? <laughs> I'm actually gonna do the Riddler just cause I, I have it. I have the ability to, why not? So there you guys go in your discard pile and Riddler gets to get me a card on the top of the deck for a cost of three. Not bad, getting that plus. Alright, so it's cat We're one, two, punch, two punches, one kick, so that's six. Where are you learning, I guess? Uh, oh, I forgot Superman. Ooh, you got so seven. Seven. You want Bizarro? I want Bizarro. Yeah, yeah, I love Bizarro. I think in the villain variant, Bizarro is the one who plays off of weaknesses. Mm -hmm. Alright, I got one punch. Gorilla Grodd says three and four. Rage on Ghoul. Seven, eight with poison ivy. The attack is each foe discards a top card of his deck. If the cost oh. is one or greater, the player gains a weakness. Poison ivy is always so nasty. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's five power. Going. If it's not one or greater, I get away. It is one. Happens. Yeah. <laughs> First weakness of the game. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Super villains cost me two less. Um, gain any cards 
with cost four or less from the lineup. And <laughs> choose any card I play. Play it again this turn. Okay. So let's start with Cheetah. Gaining a card with four or less from the lineup. That means singular, right? Yeah. Any one card. And it'll just go to your discard. Certain vocabulary you gotta learn for this game. Gaining power. Mm -hmm. The power. And then I will choose to play again. Gorilla Grod. So All that's right. <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, 11, 12, 13. And then he cost me 8. Oof. That's so heavy. That's 8 gone. Actually, Gonzo with the Bizarro card, he would have benefited from that weakness. He turns every every weakness into... He doesn't points. turn every weakness yeah. into points. Because it's weird. You still consider the weakness, but the card itself counts as points. Does, uh, did you explain that? Um, later? The points thing. Oh, right, yeah, the VPs. Apparently that's how you win. <laughs> yeah, in the beginning I was saying uh, the VPs are the... Yeah. Are the victory. It's how you actually win the game. Supervillains give you more VPs, which which is why they're sought after. Yeah, that's it for me. <laughs> Alright. So let's refresh the lineup. Refresh, replenish, you'll eventually have your own lingo. So Brainiac... He's the truffle shuffle. You are going to have to take two cards of your choosing, and we each put them in the middle. We shuffle them up, and we'd redistribute the two cards. The truffle shuffle. I'm gonna defend. You're gonna defend. I'm gonna okay. Defend with the bulletproof. Nice. Uh, it's kind of kind of if you do draw a card and you may destroy a card in your discard pile. Perfect. So you got exactly one card. <laughs> one card. And then I can destroy something. You can. Grab that bowl. You get him out of there. <laughs> All right, I got the yeah, bowl. So cool. Gonzo, since you're not participating in this, do you want to distribute the cards that we chose? Uh, yeah. Which ones? Random. Those two. Oh, just right. shuffle them and yeah, redistribute. Sure. Okay, let's do that. There we go. That should be all of them correct order. Okay. I'm just gonna so put this guy back. Two each. Mm -hmm. Two each. I think I got it. Can I look? <laughs> I, mean. I didn't look. Okay. Perfect. I feel like it was right all in. the same. <laughs> oh. You mm -hmm. kill the Joker, you boy. Mm -hmm. One, two, three with Batman. Okay. Batcave draw. Kill the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he doesn't get shot out of a. He doesn't die. I'm telling he can't you. die from a helicopter. Can he, die? he can't die when his face is ripped off. <laughs> he can't. Die. They're gonna resurrect him like <laughs> alien resurrection. <laughs> I think they actually did that in Batman Beyond. I don't know. I forgot. The movie had something to do with that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighteen. Lort. Here we go again. Parallax is really, really a monster. He lets you double your power. That's why he's a uh, high costing. And he's a big boy. Yeah. So we got Lex Luthor. Uh, Lex Luthor now. Attack. Each player gains a weakness for each villain in the lineup. So we're all looking at one weakness unless you guys can defend. No defense for me. No defense. So I'll take all offense. Yeah, no defense. I'll take I guess, like a, one weakness. Pass one over here. Thanks. I got, I got a green lantern. <laughs> yeah, this one looks less <laughs> not okay. Well, <laughs> less, that was yours. Less disgusting. Uh, uh, yeah, less robot. It's in discard pile, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah discard yeah. pile. Cool. Oh right, so. Uh, everyone's gonna have uh, every set's gonna have a different weakness artwork. I just like shuffling all mine. Um, there's a multi box, multiverse box that you can put all of your sets in, and it's kind of plain when you see the same ones over and over again. So I wanted something spicy. <laughs> Legit. 
Let's go, Gonzo. There's a watchtower, so when you play your first hero on each of your turns, draw a card. Okay, so Dark Knight. Put those, those guys go in the discard pile. Two power. Let me just fix you up right here. So when Dark Knight is done, you're going to have to shuffle your deck. So yeah. here, I'll give you your deck. You can shuffle that. With your new deck, you can activate the ton's power. So you may put two cards from your discard pile on the bottom. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, cool. Whatever. I don't care. Actually, what you can do... So you have you have five power now. You have no discard pile, but there's no order in which you can do it. You can play a card while you buy. You can buy. Certain other games don't do that. This is kind of like a lesser known rule. So you have five. Do you want to put anything with five? Do you want to buy anything for five right now? Uh, um, e or four even, even, actually. You could do four. Thinking, like feel like I don't have enough villains <laughs> for clip face. Yeah, I'm gonna buy this here. Okay. Okay, so then So Green Arrow is going into your discard, discard pile. pile. And then I can play Zatana where so now two you have cards from discard go on the bottom of my deck. One small point. It's just one. Actually, you have two because I forgot and about the I kick and the Superman. Yeah. So then that so, means I could just grab like a... You can grab a cat one. There you go. A cat one. Easy. <laughs> I haven't so talked about this in the lab. At home, you can play with assist play. How many pros that know this game? There are tournaments for this game. It gets a little yeah, intense. I'm sure they... And cut throat. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they cut my throat. If I, get it. I got one punch, two punch, three punch. So that's three. Bane plus two, so that's five. Oh. And then my attack is each foe chooses and discards a card from their hand. <laughs> it's always Bane, dude. It's the Bane of our existence. Um, what are you doing, <laughs> Gonzo? No, what are you talking about? <laughs> You're just um, grabbing a whole... I'm just discarding. Chooses Discard. and discards a card. Okay. Harley Quinn, plus one, and then each foe puts a punch of vulnerability from his discard pile to the top of his deck. Okay. <laughs> I go with the fucking bed. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> discard, alright. A discard pile, yeah. choose a punch of vulnerability and put it on the top of your oh, deck. Alright. And then Captain Cold plus two power, an additional one power for each foe with a hero in his discard pile. Do you have a hero in your discard pile? Mm, yeah. Okay, so that's pl plus one. What about you? I have one hero, I believe. Yep, so I'm playing. So that's two. two. Total of four for Captain Cold. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I will buy like some. Last villain of the game. I know, and I feel like I didn't do wow. anything. Each player reveals his hand and destroys a hero. Superpower or equipment in their hand or discard pile. So we each, we all have to reveal, regardless. I'm just gonna defend. I'll defend, defend as well. Oh, okay. Um, and I draw a card. Draw two cards if I avoid an attack. Mine is just draw a card. I'm just gonna get rid of a kick. Usually kicks are expendable. I'm gonna destroy this one. Okay, cool. My hand's already out there, so I don't even need to do that much. Except hold them, I guess. And play them in the order they need to go. So I'm going to go with John Jones. John Jones says, play the top card of the super villain stack and return it to the top of the stack. So what do we have? You may gain a hero or a villain from the lineup if you choose not to, plus three power. So let's see if that will benefit me anyway. So I have... I have four here. That'll only give me seven. I can't even get Deathstroke. So I'm gonna go with his crazy ability. Hero or villain. I assume he slays them. That's why he gained them. And we have four. I guess I'll go with Poison Ivy. Unfortunately, there's no... <laughs> there is no... Uh, Arthur <laughs> meme? <laughs> Who's Arthur? An Arthur fist. 
Oh, no, I told you not to touch it. <laughs> oh. Go for it, I thought Gonzo. you were doing like a DC reference. So that yeah, be, like, Arthur lost. Curry. <laughs> uh, Arthur the Aardvark. Please and thank you. Princess Diana would have done something there if he didn't take those damage. <laughs> So then, uh, talk about my sport. swamp thing. Where's your watchtower? <laughs> watchtower was there. Let's just assume it was there. Oh, so man, you shot it. That, it's so that was your five power. The game's almost over. I In mean, fact, like, you'll probably wait. Wait, we can remember what the watchtower. <laughs> no, no, it's it's the hero. It's like a it's hero. Draw a hero. Okay. Yeah, you can draw a card when you play a hero first turn. Mm -hmm. Go I for it. That. Let's turn your rules. So then I'm gonna go Kid Flash, draw a card. That's alright. So then it's five power, <laughs> five power, plus one, two, three, four, five, six. What was Zara? Oh. Six? What about something? I thought he was five. Okay, so six plus five. What? Hold on. So you have five, yeah, six, five seven. six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. So, I'm gonna buy that super villain. And the game's <laughs> over, guys. I you was got about to wreck again. Two more power games. <laughs> Grab no, this guy okay, for the lulls. Cool. So now, what we do when all the super villains are gone, we take our deck. And we count. And we count. Just like we've been doing this whole game. We count all the VPs. You Each, each person has a way of doing things. I got mine in the separate stacks. There's one with stars. Usually they have certain abilities that go off if certain conditions are met. So everyone's got their numbers. I have 25 minus the weaknesses. I have them in stacks of 10. I have 29. And your boy? I got in stacks of 10, so 10, 20, 30, 32, 33, oh and that's an old, so 33. <laughs> so your boy is the winner. You're the DC deck building legend. <laughs> <laughs> Teach me your wish. Always go with Wonder Woman. <laughs> so that about wraps it up. Um, you guys have any final comments? Um... Y'all shouldn't diss me Good for game. the things that I like. <laughs> GG. Good game. This was Raisin Raccoon. Yeah. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> and your boy. Signing out. I want to do more of these board games later on, so stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching. Peace.